We are African Americans. We are known globally for having the most influential culture. We are who people look to imitate. I ain't going for being told that Mexicans are a guest in hip hop, giving my whole life to rap music. And I'll be damned if someone comes out here and tells me I'm a guest because of my skin tone. Is everybody a guest in the house of hip hop? Yep. <laughs> Facts. Yep. Facts. This is Facts. absolutely a foundational black American house. Latinos are hip hop. That's just what it is. Um, hip hop began as an art form in New York. It was it was really for the New York youth in the Bronx, you know, to escape poverty and crime, whatever was happening in the city. This was their way of expressing themselves, kind of bringing themselves out, uh, escaping reality, like moving away from what's going on in the city and just kind of finding themselves through art. And shout out to African Americans who actually created the art form. And shout out to African Americans who actually created the art form. And shout out to African Americans who actually created the art form to African Americans who actually created the art form to Latinos in the music industry the way that we look at people calling Taco Bell authentic Mexican food we know it's not real Puerto Ricans didn't start hip hop mm. at all mm. my African American brothers created hip hop and then the Hispanics were telling me what the you know what the hell are you doing man what are you doing playing that jungle bunny music you know people look at what I said about anything. Look, do I feel like uh, breaking comes from African-American culture? Fuck yeah. Easy. Okay? No problem. Like the Latinos, you know, Moreno means black. You know, they be like, yo, that's, that's that Moreno style, you know, and that's the original style, v boy. Yeah, what, what year did you get into, uh, did you start rapping, Ruby D? Late 76, early 77. 76, 77. Mm -hmm. the, the Furious Five were still the three MCs. So, so if we go by the timeline of '73, and y'all is the first Puerto Ricans, that means that <laughs> hip hop was going for at least three years before, um, before yeah, before any yeah. Puerto Ricans touched yeah. the, the the, the hip hop soil. Correct, pretty much. C correct, yeah, I would say that. Okay foot in the door is Carlos Mendes because this is hip hop. You know, you got Flash, you got Theodore, you got all these cats and they're all black. You know, I like playing this music, but I'm in Spanish. I'm not going to be accepted if I go out there as DJ Carlos Mendes. Just the name alone is going to make you not want to come in the door. Puerto Ricans didn't start hip hop. Lee Black. No, we, you know, doing graffiti. Doing graffiti. Like you know, I mean, it, keep it, keep it a buck. I mean, hip hop like basketball was predominantly black. Okay, and 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 I remember, and my, my man Disco Wiz ain't here right now, but Disco Wiz, you know what I mean. We was friends in school, and when and when I told him I was DJing, I put him down with me. We started DJing together, and we would just as friends just walk through the neighborhood, walk down streets. We used to dress like dress alike and shit. And he would catch flack from Puerto Ricans, Latinos. They would like stop him when we was walking and say something to him in Spanish. And I could tell that something was wrong because he would hand me his hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he and I seen him knock three or four people out for saying, Why are you hanging with that fucking Moreno? All right. So it wasn't all everybody kumbaya. We was at that point in our youth where we was in the uh, in the in the park, and most of the P Puerto Ricans was in the handball court, and most of the black people was on the basketball, basketball. court. Now, yeah. did black people play handball? Yeah, but it was predominantly Puerto Ricans. Did Puerto Ricans play basketball? Yeah, but it was predominantly black, and that's the same way, same thing for hip hop. He had the. But when you discuss the history of hip hop. Uh, you gotta understand that hip hop has many starts. Hip hop had a start in gospel, it had a start in jazz, it had a start in blues and rock and roll, disco, hip hop. Out of all this Puerto Rican started hip hop shit, right? I started to ask a question. What's a Puerto Rican without black influence? You ever seen a Puerto Rican without black influence? Like, what's a Puerto Rican? Like, like what, who are Puerto Ricans, right? Without black proximity. So I, I started Googling shit, and that's what I came up with. Right? Look, look, look at this shit. This is a Puerto Rican in the Bronx. Look at this dope fiend, motherfucker. This is this, 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 this dope fiend face, motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. I know this dance. 
this is just say he called his connect his connect got samples and shit. He better wash his car dance. I, I, I know a crackhead when I see one. Yeah, Poppy. Yeah, take that rag and nigga wash my motherfucking rims. And nigga just look at this. What's hip hop about this dance? Look at this fucking dance. This ain't even back in the day. This is a hey, this is Puerto Ricans now. This nigga, what the fuck is hip hop about this shit? This motherfuckers can't dance. This is like a goddamn white boy. This motherfuckers can't look at, look at this shit. What the fuck is that goofy shit these niggas be doing? They just, look at this shit. And look at this motherfucker. Another dope fit. Why is he shaking like that? What, what the fuck is going on? Niggas got skin like a baked chicken. Look at this motherfucker. What, what are you doing? This is this is this is now. <laughs> this ain't even beginning hip hop. This is fifty years after. Look at these motherfuckers. Look, look. Ain't no ain't a black nigga in sight. Look at these motherfuckers. Look, what, what the what the fuck? Who would do a move like a Tyler? What's some Tyler shit? Oh, retard. It's a bag of dope. That's a, that's a good dope. Look, Baltimore body model. Baltimore face. Look at this motherfucker. Look, that's a good dope. That's a Montego. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that's a Montego line. <laughs> this motherfucker. Look at this. What's hip hop about Puerto? These is Puerto Rican niggas now. And that's an Afro Latino at that. This ain't even one of the white ones. This, this in the whole culture from fucking. Afro, like, the old culture from Puerto Ricans come from the Afros. They don't come from, what the, what, what was that, a stinky leg? Look at that. That's a, a scratch your leg, scratch, scratch your calf and shit. What is he doing? Is that a dance? What's up with his shoulders? This, what is it? This is, this, this is your Puerto Rican. These motherfuckers, you want me to, these motherfuckers are the hip hop? <laughs> Y'all want me to believe that these motherfuckers, and look at, what the fuck is this? He's them, got them Easter suits. Why are these motherfuckers just like, but look, look, look at auntie Oh thick ass auntie Who had no rhythm Having ass Oh dance like a goddamn Karen In front of them Goddamn little girls With them goddamn Spaniard Fucking dresses From 1957 From From From, from 1597 What the fuck is this Look look look, look. So look look, look. And look at this motherfucker This is go This motherfucker I guess he got a little hip hop in him Look at him Look at him But watch this Look at this Dance like Dance like crack ass Look, this like crack ass on the Bronx. Bronx dancing crack ass. Look at them. Look, 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 look at them on them drums like goddamn booty scratchers. Look, look. That's African culture. If anything, look, this is, this is African culture, my nigga. What, what the fuck is Puerto Rican culture? I mean, I get it. This is he about all. This is, so this is he about all culture. Look, what the fuck is she doing? Ain't no rhythm. See, look. It, it, look, it, it, look at this shit. So what the, what the fuck is that? Why they, why they, so they show the movie. Look at that crackhead shit. Look at that. Look, look this, this is Puerto Rican culture. Look, look, these motherfuckers, you mean tell me these motherfuckers are the hell about how? How? Look, he is a fake hip hop motherfucker. And look at that. Look, look at Auntie. Oh, big ass, big back ass. Look at this big back bitch. Look at this. <laughs> what is she doing her arms too? Flapping them goddamn Auntie, them, 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 <laughs> them Auntie arms. Look at this shit. These motherfuckers co, co created hip hop. This is this this is this is this, 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 this what you're doing. What's she gonna do? Look at the, the fucking you know funky chicken. What is that? What's up with these Puerto Ricans? And she shoulder work. And it, look at this, look, look, the leg movement. Look, what, what is going on? Look at this shit. That's like a goddamn Karen. Oh, what the fuck is she doing? A goddamn rooster? What is she, what is she doing? The, the, the goddamn pe- pe- the white Pequot. Somebody go get that little girl from when her uncle's touch. Look, look, get, get that little cute ass little girl out of there. Around them goddamn sexual deviants. You know Puerto Rico's like one of the most most most, most it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a safe haven for pedophiles. They get that little girl to fuck about it there around them weirdos. Get that little cute ass. Somebody come get this little adorable girl to fuck about it there around for them sexual deviants. Look at look, look at she got some shoulder. Look at she doing it. She look at look at cute. She cute though. She doing it. It's shoulder movement too. Learning from my goddamn aunties. Doing the goddamn. Come on, get a. She's doing this in front of the goddamn pedophiles. Get get that little girl to fuck away from these goddamn these sexual deviants. What is she doing? You don't got no breast. Stop. Stop, little girl. Get the. Come on, get this little girl to fuck up out of here. Look, oh, look there's no rhythm having no, no rhythm. <laughs> but you. <laughs> you gotta stop this shit, man. Like, look at us. This is us. This is this, this us fucking. Well, how many years ago? 50, 80 years ago. Look at us. Look, 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 look at all that fucking. You mean to tell me not a Puerto Rican in fucking sight? Look at all that rhythm. Nigga. Look at all this shit hitting the ground and all that. Spin it. Nigga, that's break dancing. That's a precursor to break dancing, nigga. Fuck it. Not a Puerto, a Puerto Rican never did no shit like this. Look at the heat. Fuck it. Fuck it up on the floor. Look at that shit. Oh, nigga, Puerto Rican never did this on the, on the island. Look at heat, but old niggas ain't never. Look at that shit. Look at all that. Look, 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 look at us. Look at us. That's us in Harlem. Nigga, the 60s. This is before hip hop. Look at look, look at that. Look at the groove, nigga. You see, nigga, look at look, 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 look at Fat Albert. Nigga, look at look, 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 um, Rerun. Look, look at Home uh, uh, nigga, look, look, see, see. You don't need no music. You see the shit. You see the shit. Nigga, they, 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 you see the shit them niggas is doing. 
Look, 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 Look at look at that. We we're still fucking it up. Look at look at us. Look at us. This is almost a goddamn hundred years ago. Hundred years ago. See, <laughs> we had some. Those are Spanish niggas in their hats, I guess. I guess those are black niggas. Look, look, look. We're fucking it up. Look, we're fucking it up. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me we got our so? You mean to tell me they helped us when they wasn't even around? Those those those, those country niggas right there. Just a bunch of country niggas. Like slave plantation dancing. Look, look at that. Look, look, uh, 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 hitting it. It's just like, look at that shit. Hitting it. Uh, hitting it, nigga. Fuck it. Uh, uh, uh. Kid and play in it. This is this before Kid and Play. Who think Kid and Play got, got that shit from? You think they just made that shit up? Nah, nigga, this is the culture. It's motherfucking culture. Look at Big Auntie. Look at Big Aunt Shirley. She, she, she about to fuck it up. You about to fuck it up. Look, 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 look. This is how our country niggas dance. Look, look, look. This is our country niggas fucking it up. Look at, look at, look, 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 look at that shit. Uh, hitting it, nigga, hitting it. Flipping. All that, look, this is break dancing. Look, look. You mean to tell me we got, we got break this? Where's the evidence? Look, we got receipts. Where is their evidence at, though? We can show and prove. They can just talk all they want, but they can't show and prove. This is before hip hop. This is the element. This is part of hip hop. Hip hop took this. Look, look at these fucking country, fucking um, country bumpkin ass Puerto Rican. Look at this shit. Look, 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 look. What is they doing? They got machetes and shit. They hear about those. Look, look. What type of silly shit is they doing? Look at the silly shit. Just like motherfucking. What's that nigga name? Speedy Gondrales, Speedy Gondrales dressing motherfuckers. Why is they dressed like the fucking 1500s? Look, like the motherfuckers New Columbus or something. We about to, look at little, look, is, is, a, is, a, is a bull coming? It's about to be the fucking run of the bulls. Look, this is today. They doing this today. Look at these, oh, these motherfuckers. They got, look, look, this is their culture. This is Puerto Rican culture without blacks. <laughs> this is what you would have. This is how Puerto Ricans would look, dress, and behave if they ain't come in contact with us. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, it's some sissy shit. Look at this. this some, look at this. European. It's some European shit. See, look, look. They they, they they got European customs and African customs. This motherfuckers, look. Look at this. Look, little bumpkin, country bumpkin shit. This is a Puerto Rican without black proximity. Look at it. It's the goofiest shit you ever see. The goofiest. Oh, this is the goofiest shit. Goddamn. Speedy Gonzalez is. Diet Mexicans. Look, this is what's the, what's the point of this shit? Getting Kenny King. Look at us again. Look, look, look. This, this is us. This is us. This in the fifties. Hip hop. This hip hop came twenty years later. This twenty years before the, the, the hip hop. Actually, this thirty years before the word hip hop came. Thirty one years before. Look, look, look at this. Puerto Rico have nothing like this, but. We want to say they helped us with what part? Breakdancing? B-boying? This is where breakdancing come from. It didn't come from them kids. Them kids was watching this. This this was this is what the kids in the 70s was watching on TV. It was not many channels. Controversial, but I still wanted to talk about it. A 2020 census showed that three-fourths of Puerto Ricans identify as white when over 60% of them have African and Taino descent in them. What are you talking about? Are y'all slow? Puerto Ricans are black. They're black. Puerto Rican, you black, point blank. Facts. So, is Puerto Ricans are black. Dominicans are black. Jamaicans are black. Nigerians are black. Creole people are black. When I was growing up, none of these groups wanted to be black or be associated with blackness. Very much so anti black. So, I'm just, I'm in shock how everyone all of a sudden wants to be black. Um, when it all comes down to it, they don't want to be black. It's just that they want to be able to be a part of black culture and be able to use the N-word and be able to go in and out of blackness whenever they choose, to take our scholarships, to be our representatives, but they don't actually want to be a part of uh, black America or part of our struggles, um, but they very much so want to be a part of our triumphs, 
and celebrations. So yeah, not everybody, not everybody's black. Um, yeah. This the one, this the one, because a lot of Dominicans, Cubans, and Puerto Ricans be trying to- You wanna know the reason why Latinos don't consider themselves black? Is because we were raised different. We got different cultures. We respect each other, one another, no matter your skin tone. There is a saying in Puerto Rico, si no puedes con el enemigo, únete. Which means, if you can be the enemy, unite with them. But, black don't like black. Black don't like white. Black don't like yellow. Black don't like brown. That's how it be. They don't even love each other. When y'all love each other, y'all respect each other, one another, then you could come Latino, you could call Latinos black. Or in that, me no black. How white are Puerto Ricans? The answer may surprise you. Puerto Ricans are indeed diverse peoples with European, African, and Native American ancestry. However, some people seem to think of them as if they're mulattoes, yet the actual picture is much different. On average, Puerto Ricans are of 12% Taino Amerindian descent, with Tainos being the original inhabitants of the island. Then the next largest component is Sub-Saharan African ancestry, which is around 20% on average in Puerto Rico, which leaves us with the final ancestral component, European. Puerto Ricans average 68% European ancestry, which is the largest ancestral component. Though it should be noted that the main source of European ancestry in Puerto Ricans are Spaniards from the Canary Islands, who average around 20% of North African Berber-like ancestry, as Canary Islands are located off the coast off Africa, and used to be populated by Berber-like Guanches. As a result, the mulatto label is more applicable towards Dominicans, who we will discuss in a separate video, as Puerto Ricans are almost three-quarters European. No hater shade, I actually liked one of your videos about baddies like a couple of videos back, but you have a couple things wrong, so I'm going to correct it. One, not all Puerto Ricans are black. Puerto Ricans are considered both Hispanic and Latino. Hispanic means from a Spanish-speaking country. Latino means from a country in Latin America. I am also Afro-Latino. I am both Hispanic and Latino. My family's from Panama, which is both a Spanish-speaking country and a country in Latin America, which makes me Afro-Latina. As you can see, the African is right here. So yes, there are a lot of Afro-Latinos in Puerto Rico, just like there are a lot of Afro-Latinos in Panama. We are some of the most racially diverse Latin countries. But that does not mean all of us are Afro-Latino. That does not mean all of us are black. And that doesn't mean that all of us even have a portion or are mixed with black. Also, let's... Yeah. So, big pun. Mm -hmm. Got down on one knee, grabbed your hand, and kissed your ring. That's, yeah, he, he felt that deep about G-Rap. Yeah, literally, yeah. not not hypothetically, not in essence. He literally nah, grabbed nah, your nah, hand nah, and nah. put his mouth. Yeah, literally, on like, literally. Pun's a straight. He was a straight goon. Pun right. was a straight wild goon. Oh yeah, no. Pun was the wildest. You know, I, I interviewed most of Terror Squad, and you know, they told me some ret retarded stories <laughs> about Pun. Exactly. Now, and you know, and I never really thought about it before now, but. Pun's flow in the multi-syllable kind of machine gun flow without a pause is really a G-Rap flow. Yeah. One of the lines that made this song so famous is when I go Boricua, Morena, and what Boricua means Puerto Rican and black woman. That's like my love to the music, you know? My love to the thank you to the black people for accepting more equal. Thank you to the black people for accepting more equal. Thank you to the black people for accepting more equal. Welcome back. The Big Bad Podcast. I'm your host. So I'll say Puerto Rican's not a guest in hip hop. I'll say Latinos are not a guest in hip hop. I'll say Caribbeans are no longer guest in hip hop. I'll say these are trespassers. These are home invaders. These are thieves. These are robbers. Let's get it. 
So Latinos had overstayed their welcome in hip hop, right? And like, let's be honest, there was always tension between blacks and Latino. Always. There was never no peace coming. To this day, we have segregated neighborhoods. You have Spanish neighborhoods. You have black neighborhoods. You have black part of town. You have Spanish part of town. It always been that way. But in the beginning, we let them move amongst us, right? We never took advantage of Latinos. We never, and West Coast never took advantage of Mexicans on the West Coast. We never took advantage of um, Puerto Ricans on the East Coast, right? We let them move amongst us. And when they get numbers, they start dragging their nuts, right? They get numbers in jail. They form Latin Kings, start, you know, exploiting and um, victimizing black Americans and others, right? On the West Coast, they get their numbers up. The Serenios are now oppressing black Americans, right? Coast to coast. They don't do that shit in the South. We run shit in the South. But yet, even though, even though we have the numbers, we don't oppress Latinos nowhere, if anything, we fought for Latino rights. If anything, we supported Latinos. If anything, our fight and our struggle, the Latinos benefit from. We didn't benefit off of one Latino. Never. Now, not one Latino politician. In fact, every Latino in the government, local or federal, all work to sabotage us. I'll go further to saying all immigrants sabotage. All immigrants are enemies of black Americans. All immigrants are tools for white supremacy because they all turn against us. All we did was give them culture. Every immigrant in this country who was shunned by white people, who was being exploited by white people, learned English from us. They learned customs from us. They learned ways of America from us. They learned music from us. They get culture from us. How they talk from us. They lose our language. They lose our mannerisms. They use our um, even our ethnics. They imitate us. Everything they do, they imitate us, right? I just looked up Puerto Rican dancers and coach. Same with Jamaica too. I, I did all that. I, I looked it up. So I want to see how these people behave when we not in a proximity. There is nothing hip about these people. These people look like motherfucking matadors. They just like goddamn Kita Banana woman. Just like goddamn Kita Banana woman. I didn't know Speedy Gonzalez was a goddamn Puerto Rican. I thought he was Mexican. But no, Puerto Ricans dress like goddamn Speedy Gonzalez. Puerto Rico without Black American contact, without American contact, our country is fuck. And coming to find out, can no Puerto Rican dance or can no Latino dance? They can't dance. They can imitate, but in their own country, if you take the beat away, they have no fucking rhythm. They can't dance, right? Discover that. So I also want to see some remnants of hip hop without our influence. There is none. But there is mountains of evidence of hip hop before the 70s. And let's 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 not confuse what hip hop is. Hip hop is not fucking break dancing. Hip hop didn't start with the breaks. We don't look 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 look. It's a myth saying that hip hop started with the break beats in the B-boys. Okay, let's 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 say let's say that's a complete lie because blacks, we dance to all our music, but we go harder. On the break, usually. It's always a part of a song that we go hard. But we dance to the whole song. We don't just dance to a fucking break, to a break part. Nigga, put on a song. I don't give a fuck who it's from. Nigga, if it's rocking, put on a goddamn, put on a goddamn Whispers Rock City right now. Nigga, from front to back, nigga, in between, we rocking through the whole shit. We begin to rock. Put this on right now. We dance through the whole thing. You put on James Brown right now. Nigga, nigga, we rocking. We, we put through the whole thing. I realize these people have no rhythm and no soul. Everything they got isn't from our proximity, but they have something that we don't have. Jealousy. I never knew that these people were jealous. These people are haters. Now I ain't saying all, I'm saying the ones online, but, but when you, when you, when you shoot your target, you shoot everybody in their proximity, everybody, nigga, everybody get destroyed. It don't matter. If you stand next to this, these people we shooting at when we shooting, everybody gets hit. And I ain't saying literally shooting. I'm just saying, you know, proverbial shooting, like, you know, I ain't talking about violence, but you know, everybody, everybody, everybody gets strays. So, so I'm about to hand out some motherfucking strays. Everybody, everybody get these strays. Puerto Ricans can't dance. Puerto Ricans can't fucking rap. I mean, now they could, but I'm talking about in, in, in the beginning. Hip hop didn't start in this in '73. Matter of fact, Cool Hurt himself said hip hop started in in the '70s. It, it showed us it it, it 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 came above the water. In in seventy one, by seventy three, it was no turning back. He said this himself. Puerto Ricans like to start at seventy three. You know why? Because before seventy three, we barely had contact with them. Like it's 
We had block parties in 67 on camera, on video. Now the goddamn Puerto Rican in sight. And we jamming. We dancing. There's also videos of us break dancing in 1930s and 40s. No Puerto Ricans around. But you know what I can't find? I can't find one video of one person in Puerto Rico doing anything similar as far as fashion, as far as as far as style, as far as movement, as far as dancing, as far as hip hop culture. And let's get rid of this hip hop culture shit, right? Because hip hop didn't even start in 73. Hip hop was coined in 81. The first term hip hop came in the Sugar Hill Gang, 1979. That's when you first heard the term hip hop. But being hip always been around since the 60s, since the 50s. Nigga, you ain't hip. That's jive talk. Our slang didn't come with, like, like, we have jive talk. The word hip came from us. We made that word what it is today. Nigga, you ain't hip. I'm hip. You know what I'm saying? How we use it is how, is how, how, is, is how it was used. Not how Puerto Rican. That's, that's not a Spanish word. That's not a Jamaican word, right? So it's evident that hip hop started in 81 when a white reporter asked him about it. What was the name? He said, it's hip hop. After the Sugar Hill game, you know what I'm saying? Because the immigrant niggas can't but but a a sexual deviant a a, a, a molester you know what i'm saying which all the people from caribbeans come from molesting islands and shit especially puerto rico puerto rico is like the king of pedophile island like the pedophile island if you want to molest somebody go to puerto rico matter of fact all all all, all, all matter of fact it's puerto ricans here right now who catch a charge and they go to puerto rico it's a safe haven for pedophilia you know the uncles and them be touching them and all that shit. You, you know they do this, right? I'm saying this is what they do, right? No offense, this is the truth. Since I was a kid, I've been hearing how Puerto Rican uncles and their fathers be touching their daughters. And since I was a kid, if, if I'm wrong, correct me. But you know it's true. You know, you know, you know what happened. So there was no remnants of hip hop, right? So let's talk about the elements of hip hop. Now, first we're talking about the indivi uh, individual hip hop from top to bottom, right? Let's start the first. It started at the head with hip hop, right? First started with hip hop, people had afros. The word afro didn't come from Africa. It didn't come from Latino. Later on, Afro Latino adopted it because they be jacking our shit all the time. They can't do nothing without us. Can't nobody do nothing without us. You know what I'm saying? So they had to use our afro, which is a black American term. We had afros first. But we just can't even get afros. Some of them, yeah, some of them darker ones, they have afros. But that's 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 our fashion, right? Now there was no barber shops in Puerto Rico with clippers and doing designs and all that. That's us. So think about this Puerto Rican barbers now, right? We gave them a lane to cut hair to look like us. They, they cut like us. Designs and shit, that's all us. Now, Puerto Rican things is dope at cutting hair, but that's a black American thing in itself, right? Now, let's talk about let's talk about hats we wear, fitted hats, um, the Kango. All types of older shit that I, I, I ain't even privy to. But even even the, um, even the, even the Pooh Sexy face mask, stocking cap, wave cap, baseball cap, basketball cap. All these things black Americans wear. None of this shit is found in Puerto Rico or Jamaica or the Caribbean or Africa at all. None of this. All this is American shit that we've been wearing before we had proximity to these people. Because we had a Negro League. Let's talk about baseball caps. We had a Negro League. There was never a Hispanic league. There was never an African league. We had a Negro league. We had caps. You know what I'm saying we we've been wearing fitters. They wear fitters now. You know what I'm Let, let's, let, they had straw hats and shit. They had but Chabaquita banana hats. They had goddamn Speedy Gonzalez hats. And Mexican Puerto Rico is literally Mexico light. I'm saying diet Mexico. I, I saw Puerto Rico as is diet Mexico. I saw them on the islands as little diet Mexicos. You know what I'm saying Cuba diet Mexico. Um. Venezuela, Diet Mexico, Honduras, Diet Mexico, um, Cuba, Diet Mexico, Dominican Republic, Diet Mexico. Oh, this is Diet Mexico. You know what I'm saying best Mexicans are, are the biggest influence in Latino America, and they've been here longer than anybody. Puerto Ricans are citizens, yes, but Mexicans been here way before. You know what I'm saying? They're the OG Latinos, most respected to. They're the deepest, right? So now let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. We know, we know, we know all the clothes from the bell bottoms to the corduroys to the to the to the, to the Levi's to the Lee jeans. You know all that shit we was wearing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you see how they was dressing when they came here. You know what I'm saying that was ridiculously just, just like goddamn matadors dressing like goddamn they they got their milk cows and shit. These motherfuckers was he by those. These motherfuckers are he by those. I don't even call that shit a culture in Puerto Rico. If they do something, maybe it is, but it's it's so insignificant. These people, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like not disrespecting them, but like, it has no influence. 
these people have no influence in their own country. Now, for 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 them to say they help us with hip hop is getting annoying because y'all getting mad at us saying y'all was outside while we was inside <laughs> making this hip hop. And I want to say one thing too, motherfucking Herc, it did not create hip hop. He did. He was not one man saying okay, like like for one person. To create hip hop, you gotta say, okay, this is how you rap. I rap neat. He gotta be the first one to rap, okay? He gotta invent the turntable and say, I invented the turntable and I made this music and only this part of the music is hip hop. Then he gotta say, this is how you dress. Then he gotta say, this is cool, this not. Then he gotta say, all the other shit. And this, you know what I'm saying? He didn't do that. People been hip, the music been here, and he didn't create no music. Now, I don't give him credit for the merry go round and looping. People been looping since the 40s. He didn't invent looping. But I guess he invented, what, looping some songs together in James Brown's song? So the music was James Brown. The music was black American. The music wasn't American. It wasn't, it wasn't no Jamaican music he played. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, so he put it together. That's his contribution. Looping our music and giving it to us. Because he wasn't the first DJ. He didn't invent DJing. I, I don't care. How can somebody who invented nothing be a goddamn godfather or a, a founder of something that he walked, in, he walked on to, he adopted to? He accepted, I mean, he adopted to something, something that he adopted, something that he accepted, something that he was, he was, in, something that he was, he was, something that he was accepted in. We gave him his fashion. We gave him his style. We gave him his lane. Y'all don't give us nothing. No immigrant in the world ever gave us anything. We gave you the microphone to talk to. Let's talk about hip hop contributions. If you want to get technical about who started hip hop and all this, all this shit, I'm saying, you want to say, oh, cause nigga, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Puerto Rican chango or, or Whatever the fuck y'all First of all Puerto Rico Are two things I When I see When I see motherfuckers In Puerto Rico I don't see nothing About no native I don't see nothing About no native culture In Puerto Rico I see two things I see goddamn Matadors Spaniards And I see goddamn Booty scratches on the drums Y'all 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 beat drums Like the booty scratches Booty scratching drum Type type of shit Africa shit You know what I'm saying I see Africa culture now, I see Spain culture. I don't even see Puerto Rican culture in Puerto Rico. Look at it. Look at this shit. Go take a look. You tell me yourself. I see African culture as far as drums go and as far as dancing go. That's all African shit. Y'all like, y'all, y'all, y'all no different from, from the Jamaicans or no different from the goddamn Cubans or the, or, or, or the Haitians or the Dominicans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got that shit from Africa. Oh, that's Africa shit. The whole Latino. Music and dance shit, the bombada and the mamba and the and the and the, 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 the Montego, all that shit y'all be doing, all that shit is just African music. And yet, why y'all niggas dress as fucking Spaniards, Spaniard rejects, diet Spaniard niggas, Spaniard light. That's why y'all niggas is it's Spanish light. Y'all Spanish rejects. Y'all have no culture of your own. Now let's 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 black Americans, right? Let's say we are. See, we ain't just British rejects because we got because some of us came from French colonizers, you know. Down in, down in um Louisiana, we had we had the French colonizers. We was colonized by the French. Some of us was colonized in Mexico property, you know what I'm saying? Some of us was colonized by um by the Amsterdam and all that. Some of us was colonized by Britons, some of us colonized by the Spanish too, up in Florida. So we don't come from one white group as opposed to some of y'all come from one white group of French or uh, Spanish or Portugal. We come from all that. Maybe less Portugal, but we come from nigga, we, we got some of our European roots is Spanish. Some of it is French. Some of it is from Britain. Some of it is from um, Amsterdam. But it's all together because you know we be together. Like you know, like e- even even our black is different. We got some Geechee. We got some Redbone. We got some um, Cajun. We got some Creole. We got some Native American. We got some Creek. We got some Seminole. We have we are way more mixed than any of y'all, right? But we claim black. But that's a, now. Now let's say. Let's say now. Let's say like okay. We have white American culture. Even they take from us. <laughs> Everything you see mainstream white people do is our shit. From from river dancing, square dancing, from from jazz, from fucking country music, the guitar. A lot of shit white people do. They take from us. As far as they franchises. Um, seasonings and ingredients, inventions, all it's, it, mo- most things in America come from. Now, don't, don't get it wrong. Now, white people are not one group. It's between forty-four countries to fifty-one countries in Europe, right? 
all of them together have to make white society how or, or white America. You know what I'm saying? And people from Europe come here once they have kids, those kids are white Americans. When Africans come here, they're never black Americans. When Caribbeans come here, they're never black Americans. You know what I'm saying? They can be African American, but that's our name too. They can't use that, so they gotta be this. So for now on, y'all black immigrants, because y'all, because for some reason y'all want y'all want to attach to blackness. Y'all black immigrants. A black immigrant can never be a black American. Y'all can be black citizens, but y'all never will be a black American because y'all didn't y'all y'all wasn't here that long. Y'all didn't got the y'all got the contributions to the world. Fuck the country. Contribution to the world, Craig. Y'all don't got that. Y'all ain't fight. Y'all ain't dignified as us. Y'all don't represent like us. And, and y- y'all not honorable like us. None of y'all. All y'all come from degenerate cultures, degenerate countries, struggling, striving, backstabbing ass countries, shitting in the streets. Um, fucking y'all to, I'm sure, I'm sure most of y'all left, y'all done, y'all old people and y'all stole from, from people to get here. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all had to backstab somebody. Somebody y'all had to kill somebody to get here. Y'all had to do all types of shit to get here. Y'all, and y'all all divided in y'all culture. The whole Caribbean is racist and have a racial caste system. The lighter you are, the better you are. The darker you are, you ain't shit. You ain't getting on movie roles. You ain't getting on the radio. You, nigga, you ain't doing nothing. You might not even get school and education. That's the whole lot. That's a whole lot in America. As opposed to Africa, yeah, 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 tribal shit. India, they got their caste system. Like everyone has some bullshit with them. We don't. We're the only group in the world that is nigga. We all black. Whether you half black. Whether you, as long as your mom, as long as your mom, you in a culture, we consider you black. But if you, if you, if your mom is white and you're not with us a culture, you're not considered black at all. That's how, that's how, that's how the half thing go. If you half us, but and you raised with us, you us. If you half us, but you ain't raised like Drake. Drake is half us, but he ain't culturally us, and he's not, he's not, he's not nationally us either. So he's not one of us. He's not like us. But the thing is, we the only one who don't have no bullshit. We just one group. We have our differences. We have our different bloods, and say we have our different things. You know. You know, we got the South, North, East, West. We come from different native tribes. We come from different Europeans. We come from different parts of Africa. But we all one. We're the only group that locked that in and move like that. Nobody else has solidarity like the black American. Nobody else have unity like the black American. I don't give a fuck about how y'all say we divided. I don't give a fuck about how much y'all say of the broken home. I don't give a fuck about how much y'all say black on black violence. For one, all y'all come from degenerate countries. That's way more violent than anything America can imagine. All y'all from Puerto Rico to nigga to nigga to all y'all, all nigga to the all y'all shit, all the, in all the shit whole countries. That's what the Puerto Rico show. I don't want to talk about Puerto Rico or Jamaica. You know what I'm saying, but nigga, straight's got to happen. Everybody, everybody, got, everybody got to get it because one individual fucked up for everybody. Just like us, when, when one of us do something, all black Americans is this. So for now on, we holding the same with y'all. Once one of y'all fuck up, y'all all fuck up. This is why y'all no longer accepting the hip hop, and we gonna boycott y'all and not accept y'all. Because first of all, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't play no, um, uh, I don't play no Caribbean shit anyway. I don't play no immigrant shit anyway. Every time I see immigrant on the radio or on the TV, I turn that shit. I always have. I never want to hear him. Well, Drake was the only one. I, I fuck with Drake. Drake, Drake has some. Drake has some old shit. I'm saying because he, because he had black. He made black American music. He was just like a. Drake was like Drake was like the the white man who did black cover cover music and shit. It's gonna be alright. I'm saying. Now the thing is, we the only ones that move like that, and we the only ones that got culture that everybody takes from. Name one ethnicity in the world that everybody takes from and think they accepted and think they they, they could be cool like us. There is not one nigga, nigga from and piano, our genre, reggaeton, our genre, reggae, our genre. Influ- well, we influences, so we influences ours. That's, that's how, for that one, that's how we doing it. If y'all biting our shit, if y'all, if y'all biting, y'all looping that samplers, it's ours now. Reggae, we own that. We own dance hall. We own reggaeton. Nigga, we own Latin jazz. Niggas, we influence all that. We 50 50 on all that. We 50 or 50 on all that. Because we gave you all y'all a blueprint to take from. Without us, all y'all be rhythmless, funky motherfuckers milking cows and, and, and being matadors and shit. Matadors. So, Puerto Rican niggas is hating. You know, you know, you got the RN colonizer. You got this um other motherfucker who do photos. He sabotaged Tyreek and she was going. And I want to say this too. I don't go by the term FBA or ADOS. 
Because I wasn't born like that. My mom don't know what the fuck that shit is. My dad don't know what that shit is. My grandparents, I'm a black American. I stand on that alone. I don't got to add it. I don't, I don't, I'm BA. I'm BA1. I don't, I don't got to add an F to nothing. I don't got to add extra letters. Because anybody can be a foundational black American. Because foundational from anywhere, black anywhere, America's, you know what I'm saying, north and south. No, I am a black American from the Emancipation Proclamation. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I have pictures and I have pictures from, from 18. 1810s. I could show you. I'm, I'm gonna show you pictures from, from of my great 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 grandparents. Not one, but both. I have. I have. A ma- I come from married people. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker, from the 1840s. Y'all can't do that because to be to be truthful with you, Africa doesn't go back to the 1840s. Any African, <laughs> any African country you name was named in the 1880s at the Berlin Conference. See, when people say we don't know where we came come from, even though we was here since 1619, ever since we was here, as far as our native side, even if we got, let's say we got, let's say we got 5% Native American blood. That still ties us to here. So that means we've been here way before Columbus came here, right? Africa, Nigeria and all that shit. That shit was named in 1850. They didn't get freedom until 18, what, the 1960s. They didn't get independence in the 1960s. Y'all want to say, well, we don't know where we come from? Niggas, please. <laughs> None of y'all don't know what Nigeria was called before it was called Nigeria. None of y'all know what, what, what fucking Egypt was called before it was called Egypt. None of y'all know what any of them countries was called because white people named them and they blend y'all and move y'all around and they smack y'all around because y'all some sellouts. You so humans for fucking makeup and bear hating ass niggas, tribal ass niggas. None of y'all know where y'all come from. Nigga, people from Britain don't know where the fuck they come from. Jamaicans act like the, the, the Caribbean Brits, they they, they 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 came from somewhere. <laughs> Jamaican Brits cracked me up when they said, oh, Americans don't know where they come from. Motherfucker, y'all was colonized a year or two before us. <laughs> y'all don't know where the fuck you come from even. And the Africans, y'all got some nerve to say, y'all don't know the fuck. Y'all, y'all, got, nerve to, y'all got nerve to say, Black Americans don't know where they come from when we still in black America. Y'all, y'all know y'all come from because y'all had to leave the f- where the fuck you come from. That's why you know where you come from. Huh? You got to leave. I don't got to leave. Nigga, I don't got to go nowhere. Nigga, I could go on vacation in America and not leave America. Nigga, I could, I could go skiing. I could get some sun. I could see movies. I could go to... Disney World, Disneyland. I could go to all the types of Six Flags. Nigga, nigga, why would I? I? I could go see a waterfall. I could see blue water. I could, nigga, I could see a desert. I could see a rainforest. I could see a bunch of shit. I don't, I don't, I don't gotta leave America ever. Y'all all gotta leave y'all country because y'all all some begging ass, lazy ass, non-working, coward ass motherfuckers. Oh, y'all some cowards. If you left your country, you a coward. If you in your country and you wanna leave your country. You a coward too. You probably sell your mother out. You probably probably done stole your neighbor's goats or something to get here. What they do to get here? Y- y'all didn't earn the rights. And when y'all get here, all y'all owe homage to black Americans, but y'all seem to be disrespecting, and it, which is cool. Because and eventually, we're going to get active. Eventually, our gang's going to start knowing what's going on and start seeing y'all different. See, the gangs, they ain't catch up to niggas like me. And I come from gang culture. I come from a, 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 a neighborhood culture. I come from street prison culture. My niggas listen to me. I got little niggas. They listening. They catching up. But once they get hit to, okay, these niggas the ops, and we are just, y'all niggas all fucked up. See, y'all be real strong. A lot of these American gangs. See, black Americans ain't, we, we don't come from gang culture. White people come here, they had gangs. Latinos come here, they had gangs. All before black Americans. Chicago had gangs before black Americans. LA had gangs before black Americans. We get gangs after, but when, once we start ganging up and shit, y'all get quiet as a motherfucking mouth. Y'all don't call it peace. Think about the Latin Kings in New York. That's the biggest shit ever. Now, nigga, 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 nigga is no threat. No disrespect to them, but the, the blood's running. You know I'm saying Crips is growing. Now, the blood's coming together. It's over for them. Like, think about the, the, the Mexican movement in L.A. When Crips was doing anything in the 80s and 70s, it was quiet as a motherfucker mouth. And, the, the, and Mexicans was probably in L.A. longer than motherfucking the black Americans, even though black Americans helped found L.A. And, and they didn't find, they didn't found L.A. But, you know what I'm saying? But when, when, once we start clicking and clacking, getting together, y'all gonna get quiet as fuck. I got news for you, motherfuckers. It's over for Democrats forever. Nigga, we about to, nigga, we about to, nigga, these, listen, Republicans about to come and shut everything down. All y'all gonna want back. You know what we doing? We are fighting for the 14th Amendment to be taken from all y'all. 
We, we want all the citizenship taken back. That's what we're pushing for. We're going to start organizing and pushing for that. If, if, if the Republicans want our vote or Democrats want our vote, they'll get rid of all immigrants and citizenship. We don't want no more birthright citizenship in America. We don't want nothing we fought for to go to immigrants. Once we start doing that, it's over for you, motherfucker. It's over. It's over for Latinos. Because mostly I ain't even American in it. Let's keep it real. Latinos got all these fucking numbers. None of them are fucking American, besides Puerto Rican and some Mexicans. But most of them are, you know what I'm saying? Most of them, a lot of them are criminals. <laughs> these motherfuckers are criminals. Criminals in their own country. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are criminal cultures. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's, let's talk about hip hop for a second. What's hip hop? What's hip hop culture? What's some what's some unwritten rules in hip hop culture? For one, not snitching. What snitching mean? Snitching means when two people do a crime. Snitching just means telling white people our business or getting white people involved in that shit. So far, I I, I met I, yo Dr. Cologne. I, I I interviewed Dr. Cologne on my phone, screenshotted it. I, I, I fuck that shit. I didn't want to do it. Um, I called him. We talked. Clout chasing ass bozo. First thing he said to me is he want he want he want to boycott some nigga named BSI channel. I'm like I don't boycott channels. I don't fucking boycott channels. Then he had a debate or something. And I commented. He said, "Oh, you a traitor, traitor, motherfucker." I was definitely a side you white boy. You motherfuckers are white boys. Listen, these motherfuckers, Puerto Ricans are white boys, man. Like, let's just call it what they call it. If you listen, they hide. Look, they act like they black because it's convenient to say they black. They don't have no sauce. <laughs> Black make motherfuckers look cool. It's cool to say you black. It's cool to say you black. But if you ain't my complexion, you ain't black. Motherfucker, if you a shade nigga, that nigga's not black. That ain't Afro Latinos either. Y'all niggas just stop it. It's not Afro Latinos. It's black people or not. If you a black Puerto Rican or you a white Puerto Rican. If you a black Honduras or it's all that Latino shit. Latinos ain't even a word. That's a democratic word so they could use that for a black. Y'all so fucking stupid. Like even white, white is not a real thing. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a blanket word to block. So even black, we are only real black people, but it's a word to describe a bunch of people. But we the only ones that say we black. You know what I'm saying? Like it's if you take black from Puerto Ricans, what do you have? Like you take everything that's a black influence from Puerto Ricans. What do you have? You have a motherfucker in a straw hat. Dressed like goddamn Speedy Gonzalez. Just like he about to fucking chase a bull. Just like a goddamn matador. The woman got these goddamn Easter dresses on and shit. Got, matter of fact, they got Spain, Spain dresses from the 18 fucking hundreds. Y'all didn't do nothing creative on the island since the fucking, since y'all was colonized. Y'all still, y'all call that shit tradition and culture by dressing. That shit is weird as fuck. Don't get me wrong. Puerto Rican motherfuckers be killing motherfuckers. I, I, I don't want to get it too fucked up with these motherfuckers. I know the Lion King is get busy. I, I respect all that shit. I'm not a gang. But, you know, I be seeing y'all be, be erasing motherfuckers. Y'all be, I, be I, I know it's dangerous. But it's ain't about violence. See, y'all motherfuckers gonna get violence. See, y'all motherfuckers is mad at us because we saying y'all not part of our culture. We not part of here but our culture. Think about it. How was it that we from America, right? We founded, we built America before y'all even came here. Because Puerto Rico wasn't even part of America until 1917, right? I just want to be clear too. I don't want to offend all Puerto Ricans, so I'm gonna say this: the Puerto Ricans online, I'm talking to this is to y'all in particular, and anybody who agree with y'all. I'm not talking to all Puerto Ricans and shit. I, I don't want to offend all Puerto Ricans. That's that's stupid for me to do that. I'm talking to these motherfuckers online who believe that Black Americans started something together with Puerto Ricans. We didn't even start in America together. <laughs> and when you, look, check this out. Listen, this was history lesson, right? Y'all y'all became property of America in 19. 19- 17. By 1820, we was already we had a neighborhood in New York in Seneca Village. Y'all wasn't even in, in America yet. Y'all ain't even have a neighborhood yet, right? Y'all ain't even have, y'all ain't even have a neighborhood yet, right? So by 1918 to like 1937, we had a Harlem Renaissance. Think about that. You know what the Harlem Renaissance was? Nigga, it was it was during prohibition. Y'all wasn't even involved in prohibition. Y'all wasn't even involved in, in the swing music. And not to and, and mind you, before we had hip hop, before we had um um before we made disco, before we made R and B, before we made doo wop, you know we we created swing music. We had swing. Y'all don't know what swing music is. Nigga, we we had swing music and rad time. We invented genres before y'all even came here. Before y'all was even thought about. So so by 18, so by 1918, we started swing music. We done did drag time and had jazz already, right? Y'all wasn't even in sight. What do y'all had? Y'all still had music from fucking 1493. 
y'all, y'all, y'all was playing the same goddamn music Columbus was fucking playing. <laughs> Dressing like Christmas ornaments and shit. We wore all that white, green, and yellow dresses and shit. Your woman had looked like motherfucking Christmas ornaments. It wasn't a Christmas. They didn't even invent Christmas yet. Y'all was dressing like that. Fucking men look like matadors and, and goddamn Speedy Gonzalez. This was y'all y'all was y'all was light. Y'all was diet Mexicans. Y'all was y'all was y'all was the <laughs> y'all was the Alibaba version of Mexicans. Y'all was the Tamu version of Mexicans. Y'all was the <laughs> y'all was the flea market version of y'all was knockoff Mexicans. Baby knockoff Mexicans. Y'all want to act all like y'all better than Mexicans now. Y'all was on Mexican sex. Fucking, y'all was matadors and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, but let's keep this in mind, though. So from 1918 to 1937, we had a whole movement. You know what I'm saying? And this was northern blacks. This was even the country bumpkins my people come from. North Carolina, Florida and shit. You know what I'm saying? My people came up north during the Great Migration. That's the same time Puerto Ricans came here. Keep this in mind. We had Harlem already. We had Harlem since the 1920s, 30s, 40s. 50s, 60s, to this day, we still got Harlem. That's that's a mainstay of black Americans, right? Spanish Harlem didn't exist until the 1950s. That was East Harlem. That was that was Italian Harlem. So before we had a, a Spanish Harlem, before y'all even was on the map, we had a, a regular Harlem, which is black Harlem. Then we had Italian Harlem, which is East Harlem, which is now. Nigga, think about it. So you mean to tell me we got all this history, ragtime Jew, ragtime blues, we got... Malcolm X was slinging. We had Bumpy Johnson. We had all this gangster fashion. We had contacts with the mafia. We was, we was doing all this shit before y'all even got on the map. And then when y'all came here in the 50s, y'all couldn't speak English. Let's get it out. Nigga, your parents didn't fucking speak English. Y'all was, and y'all came here with y'all racism. And keep in mind, everything, everything in, 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 in Latin culture, and Latin, and it's funny, y'all, y'all Latin, y'all not really Latin people, y'all really Boricua people, you know what I'm saying, and like Mexicans are really like, you know, different native cultures too, but y'all different colonized cultures, but y'all chose the white identity of Latin, none of y'all are Latin, but y'all chose Latin as the identifying, so you identifying with, with white, and so y'all don't identify with Boricua, or your African roots, and when it comes to your culture, I mean, it's 50-50, it's African, as far as music go and celebration go and your food go and the rest of that shit is 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 Spaniard. So your culture is is really two quarters, it's really three quarters African because y'all be y'all be on the on, on the drums like booty scratchers, and the rest how y'all dress and how y'all behave is like the Mexicans. Y'all nigga, y- y'all dress like <laughs> y'all was y'all was y'all dressed like y'all was raggedy when when in Colombia it's getting, it's getting fucking dressed. Straw hats and shit, just like you was like Chiquita Banana Woman and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so you mean to tell me by the time y'all got here in the 1950s, that so from those kids from the 50s to who's born in the 50s, there was teenagers in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? There was there was there was teenagers in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? We been had music. We been doing block parties already. We been had sound systems already. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't know what none of this shit. Y'all ain't probably gonna have TVs. And when y'all did have TVs, y'all had white people up there. Y'all didn't even know what the fuck black was. We we your first contact with, with black people other than y'all own black people who, who y'all shit on, who y'all keep down, who y'all oppress to this day. All Latin America shit on they black Native Americans. Mexico just, just decided that they had black people in, 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 in 2020. They got some fucking nerve. All y'all got different racism. And it's the thing. Y'all act like y'all got all these numbers. Y'all be acting like y'all real tough with all these numbers. Do you know? In the Bronx today, it's only a quarter million Puerto Ricans, right? There is about four hundred and nine. It's about it's about a half a million Black Americans alone in the Bronx. Like I don't think y'all be acting like 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 the Bronx is is Puerto Rico. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now Latin together. Now it's now see in New York City. To be clear. There are 600,000 black immigrants, saying, but it's still a million point one black Americans in the cities of this day. Now, to be fair, there is more Latinos. If you don't call yourself Latinos, different groups, every South American group combined as Latinos, there are about 2 million Latinos. So it's more than y'all. If y'all, if y'all can say Latinos, not, not a real thing. Like, keep this in mind. All, all y'all got in common is, is language. 
But like a Puerto Rican has nothing to do with a Mexican. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't want to interact like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because see, every every front of America, you have Black Americans where Spanish people at. So we get in contact with different Spaniards, from Cubans in Florida, um, Mexicans in California, um, Puerto Ricans in the East Coast, Dominicans in Jersey. We are the everywhere we go. We got different relationships with all these Latinos. Latinos ain't all in the same bunch besides New York City. You know what I'm saying? So for y'all to say that y'all helped us when y'all were just fucking learning English, how you gonna tell us how, how you gonna tell us y'all started our music when y'all can't even dance to our music to this day? Look how y'all pop locking. Y'all be y'all be jumping jacks and on the floor and shit. Shit we did in in, in eighteen ninety eight. All the same shit y'all learning now. Shit y'all learning in the eighties. We did shit in the eight in the, in the, in the, in the, in the eighteen nineties. Do you know what I'm saying? Nineteen thirties. We've been doing that on our floor shit. The thing is though. Y'all gonna act like y'all could dance to our music equally. How the fuck y'all could... Nigga, the people who make the music dance to it. Y'all, y'all had hundreds of years of dancing to goddamn booty scratching, cow ducking music. Y'all was dancing to cow other music. Y'all was dancing to goddamn <laughs> matador music. That's why y'all, y'all, be, y'all, y'all be doing anything. Y'all be doing shit on the shoulders and all that weird. Y'all be doing all that corny shit. Y'all be, y'all be, y'all be doing anything. All this, y'all be... I be doing weird shit when you're to this day, to the, right now. A Puerto Rican who has no contact with a black American, black American culture is corny as a fuck. They can't dance. Worse than white people. White people have more rhythm than y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck. It go black Americans, white people, and then whoever after that. Because white people are more assimilated with us. they more familiar with us. They, they got more of our culture than y'all do. They probably played a bigger part in America. And matter of fact, if... if if Joe Conzo gets credit for hip hop for taking a fucking camera around black Americans taking pictures, who the fuck is responsible? For, who, who, who gets credit for video recording us in our videos? In? So are they putting hip hop too? Are the videographers <laughs> are pioneers of hip hop too? Y'all niggas is where y'all, y'all do the most stretching and reaching. Y'all, y'all got no common sense. And I'm talking to all the Puerto Ricans. I'm talking to the Puerto Ricans I'm talking to online. If you're a real Boricua, because all y'all don't agree. This is not, this is not a mindless thing. All y'all not racist. All y'all not assholes. All y'all not stupid. And all y'all not even white. So y'all have black Puerto Ricans. Y'all have black Latinos. And you have the white ones. It's the white ones giving us problems. The black ones ain't saying, I ain't see a black one trip yet. It's always these white looking motherfuckers. These white Mexicans. It's never the black ones. Y'all thought y'all was going to come here and be Americanized. Most people do. They never do. They fall in two categories, three categories, right? No, y'all, y'all fall into two categories. Either you fake white or you fake black. Because blacks, see, we're the only people in America who didn't want to be white. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of y'all Mexicans and Latinos, y'all sued to be white. Even to this day, on application, it says white. We want it. We ain't want to be white. We just want to be treated like the whites. We just want to be equal to the rights. And not even that. We want to be treated according to our merit. You know what I'm saying? But we settle for equality because we really not equality. We really did more work than all the Europeans, all the Latinos, all the Africans. We did more work than anybody. But we will settle for equals. For y'all, y'all really wanted to be white. Mexicans really wanted to be white. To this day, the Mexicans even side with, like, Mexicans even side with, you know, Aryan nation and, and, and you know brotherhood skinheads and all that shit in prisons and but they never they never do nothing with them in in, in the world in the streets they, they mingle with blacks and they do our culture but in prison they don't be white supremacists that's why oh yeah that's why I said all y'all banned from all Latinos are banned from our culture N- none of y'all welcome none of y'all now one of y'all welcome here we don't need y'all we don't want y'all do your own thing get off our dicks get Mexicans get off our dicks and and, and Puerto Ricans get off our dicks.